What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the other side of the firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers of glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams. As always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? And LeVon Maynard. Welcome to the show. What is going on? Happy Friday, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the uh, to the podcast. So if you have not already, please go back. Um, um, Monday, we discussed uh, how you cannot eliminate cyber attacks, but you can minimize their damage. Um, so that's a pretty good um, topic where we discuss how there's an attack every 11 seconds, not successful, but there's an attack every 11, 11 seconds. That's a lot of attacks per day, right? Uh, then Tuesday, we talked about a university um, that is closing after 157 years um, because of a mixture of COVID and uh, a ransomware attack that took them out. So we discussed that and how they had some missteps and how unfortunate it is and tragic that they have to close their doors because of um, uh, recent events. And then on Wednesday, we discussed mental health. We discussed how uh, over half, so 51% of those surveyed uh, uh, discuss how their mental health is not in a good place, how they uh, are not happy with being in their uh, cybersecurity roles, and how some of them are working 90 hours a week. So we, we kind of go through that. So definitely tune into the Wednesday episode discussion. It's a really good one. Uh, but today, everything else, right? So we, we get off of uh, uh, talking about work and we talk about all the things we did to decompress and what have you um, throughout the week. So always a good time. So if this is your first episode, definitely go back. But uh definitely uh continue to support like share all that good stuff there's a bell hit a bell uh so you're reminded that we're uh we're, we're doing stuff and then we're also on tiktok now so uh we, we're there for the kids doing dances i'm, I'm just kidding. this is the same episode it's just on tiktok uh, <laughs> but with that being said <laughs> what do you guys have going on this week yeah for me it's, it's pretty pretty light week i don't have too much going on but i'll tell you i've, I've been playing some more uh, yakuza like a dragon, um, like halfway through that. I did finally get to one scene, Shannon, where he's, you got to grab his, his shirt and just like, because <laughs> it's about to get real. <laughs> Took off his like button up and his like blazer in one swipe. It'll uh, never go away. It'll never go away. <laughs> That's talent. The blazer and the button up. <laughs> right. It's like, how do you do that? <laughs> just so you can show off his Yakuza a tattoo in his back. But, uh, I've been enjoying that. Like I said before, it's like a more RP, RPG style. So it's more of a turn-based, hit the button, wait for the guy to do something or girl to do something. Uh, but it's, I'm enjoying that. I've been playing some uh, Halo multiplayer. Uh, been uh, enjoying some of this new season they have, season two, uh, Lone Wolf, I think it's called. Um, yeah, some new maps, new modes. Uh, so it's been pretty, pretty fun. And then uh, I had a chance to watch, I caught up on Ozark. Ozarks just came out with the new, uh, the, the finale, I guess the rest of their season, they split up in, in two. Um, and this was good. Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, I think I'll say that the ending wasn't what I expected or like maybe like certain people live, some people die that maybe I, I was like, I wanted to be kind of flipped, you know, a little bit like, yeah, I wish that person survived <laughs> that person died kind of thing. Uh, but, uh, so the game, the game of Thrones too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Games with <laughs> game of Thrones with me. So that was, uh, uh, I think it's overall, overall, I think it's good though. It's, it's, it's an entertaining series. Um, you know, I don't think it's as good as like, uh, um, what was it? Uh, Breaking Walter Bad. White, Breaking Bad. Yeah, Walter White, is the, yeah, Breaking Bad. Uh, but it's, it's entertaining nonetheless. Then I watched, I watched the, the Forever Purge on HBO Max. Oh, okay. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm just like, what is it? Yeah, yeah. It was it was entertaining. It's nothing like nothing to uh, write home about. I guess whatever okay. how the saying goes. But so so uh, it is it is a, a can canonical movie to the, all the other purge stuff. Yeah, yeah. And okay. this one, as the title kind of hints at, like people decide, like you know what, this needs to be more than just one day, and people start going crazy, and. uh yeah, I don't want to reveal too much because it sounds like you might you might check it out, Ryan. But uh, some oh, crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've watched all the purges 
Yeah, not, yeah. Not the I've TV show all. though. I've never watched the TV show. I've never seen the show either. Actually, I put that in my queue, but I never watched it. I haven't watched it yet. But yeah. I'm not even sure if it's still a thing or if it's like been canceled. If it's still going on, and I don't even know the status of that one. But uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, what else did I watch? Um, I started Bad Hair on Hulu. It's like okay. a scary movie. Uh, yeah, that I put it in my queue a while back. I started, but I haven't. It actually was, it was pretty entertaining. I mean, it seemed pretty. Uh, it seemed pretty entertaining so far. I just watched like the first like, I don't know, 20 minutes of it. But uh, I got to go back to it because it's getting kind of late. I started like super late and I was like, ah, I, I won't be able to finish this tonight. Before. You said Bad Hair was the name of it? it yeah, like, it's called Bad Hair. And it's, it's a like, horror Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Keenan, Keenan, no, what's his name? Michael Pill? No, Michael, Michael Key. I, 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 I get the names mixed up. I think it's uh, Pill. Like, Jordan? 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 No. Jordan Peele and yeah, Michael Jordan Key, Peele. right? So Jordan Peele's the, the director guy, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, sounds, it seems like one of his type flicks, like just to kind of like the direction of it. Um, it's, uh, maybe it's like, I don't say it's as out there as like some some of Jordan's stuff, but it's uh, it's definitely kind of like, you know, it's kind of had the racial background to it. Right, um, right. It's, how, it's, it, it's kind of making fun of the term bad hair. Yeah. And it kind of focused around like, you know, mostly I think black women and, you know, yeah. uh, and I guess the desire to have like straight long hair and all this kind of stuff. Right. Some women and, and the, you know, like the less natural look, less, less natural uh, black hair look, I guess. Uh, but it goes into some like scary stuff. I guess the hair starts attacking people or something like that. And, right. Uh, um, it gets a little crazy, but it seems pretty entertaining so far. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna probably watch it either tonight or tomorrow. And Usher but, uh, is in this. Oh yeah, Usher's in there. They got some, got some uh, names in it. Some people yeah. like popped up. I was like, oh man, they got some actors in here that Jeez. I didn't know. Uh... Vanderbeek. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's, yeah. It's satire on a, a real issue in the community. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And it's uh, uh I don't know. It's, it seems kind of interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely want to see it. It's just never on a, a, a platform that I have. So at some point, I got to get Hulu too. Like, I might as well. It's like cable. I might as well get them all. Right. Right. Yeah. They consider it a comedy horror music, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that out. And I see Shannon shaking his head like, nah, I ain't watching that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it seems like it's, it's kind of like a, a kind of a crazy, just a crazy horror movie. Uh, I'm kind of into that, into that kind of stuff. But uh, let's see what else. Um, the wife and I, we've been watching. We just we just started this series called uh, Holy Moly. It's on uh, Hulu. And it's actually just a uh, it's a reality show, uh, focused around putt 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 golf, mini golf. Uh, I went against it. it. I went yeah. against it. Like, is it church? Is it church? Yeah, yeah I was like mini yeah. golf. I would I would I would have said like guacamole or something. Like I don't right. know. Like, Anything but that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's actually pretty. Int- I just happened to scroll across because I guess they started a new season. It's actually in season four, but uh, it just started on season one, or like on the second episode. But it's uh, it's a reality show, just pretty much like professional putt putt golfers, and they kind of combine it like putt putt, and it's also like uh, wipeout or kind of like one of those shows where you kind of have oh. to you get slapped, you get slapped <laughs> by, by a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I remember the commercial. Now it's got Rob Riggle as one of the hosts, right? Yeah, Rob. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. He's he's one of the hosts. He's funny too. He's yeah. got some good jokes in there. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty entertaining so far. I just watched the first couple episodes, and it's uh, you know, obviously it's no story. It's just it's actually reality. People are trying to win this competition to get the uh, they get like a plaid green jacket, um, okay, and they get like a golden putt putter, <laughs> and like twenty five thousand dollars, I think. There it is. There, there's the. <laughs> yeah, that's the true incentive. <laughs> As a true and said to get some money. Right, right. But it's uh it's pretty fun so far. It's just uh it's kind of like just one of those kind of wacky shows that uh but people get serious. The last episode I watched, people like person one and thought that you know you would have thought they won a million dollars and like they actually got to like a master's jacket or something. Uh but uh yeah, it's it's pretty fun and, and it's pretty zany. It's kind of funny how they threw in the, the kind of wipeout, like getting slapped in the face and then falling in the water kind of thing. Uh, kind of add a little edge, extra edge to it, but uh, been watching that, and then I think there's one other thing I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think the wife and I were watching. Uh, I can't think of it right now. Um, 
but that's that's the majority of the content that I I uh, enjoyed this last week. But I'll turn it over to you, Shannon. What you, what you been up to, man? <laughs> so none of that. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, so there was there was a, a couple shows and whatnot. I I, I watched a show, uh, The End Game, which actually just recently got canceled. So they're only going to get this eight episode arc or whatever that they did so um, mm-hmm. i finished that up which it, it wasn't bad i mean i know there's been worse stuff on tv but i watched that um what platform is it on hulu man hulu. i can get hulu hulu yeah, has, has everything hulu. else yeah, yeah i think it's hulu. everything else is on hulu okay yeah um what else did i watch oh man this hbo max series we own the city oh guys- i put that in my queue Oh man. That's the same people that made uh um the other one we recommended to you, the um the other Baltimore uh The Wire. The wire. Did they yeah, make I think the it's wire? The, okay. I think that's what I heard. That's the same person oh, made that. Okay, you got me. I'm and it's my cue immediately. <laughs> so, so like I, I so here's the thing. I've never watched The Wire, right? Like I, I know it's crazy to say being from Maryland. But, right. I say I want to I want to see real life. Look, I, I don't <laughs> I lived it. I don't need to watch it, right? Right. <laughs> but <laughs> No, I'm just, <laughs> you know, I might, I might have warrants. I don't want them coming back on me. Oh, right. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? No. But, um, or am I? <laughs> yeah. but uh, we own the city. It's got a, uh, what's his name? John Barenthal, the guy that played Punisher, right? Um, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, but what it's about, it's based on real life events. So I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was the gun task force in Baltimore. Mm. Kind of like fast and furious thing that happened out in la they like got caught up with corruption and whatnot and there were some guys mm-hmm. in jail time and they were just talking about how they were uh they were kind of bilking the city out of hours and whatnot for overtime and stuff like that um but it's I, it's only three episodes and i think it's only going to be six i think yeah season I, and I, I imagine it's going to be a limited series thing right i don't know how many seasons they're going to get out of it because like they're already to the point where they're questioning these guys, you know what I mean? On the events that they did, like they're, they've already arrested them, but they do kind of flashbacks to how they got to where they are. Right. So yeah, uh, as this all happened in 2017, I think is when they arrested them, but they've gone back to like 2003. Mm. when one of the officers was first starting out as a poo butt rookie, you know what I mean? And like <laughs> how he started out. And you've already seen at one point where, you know, now he's a training officer and he's telling his trainee the same thing his training officer told him, you know, gotcha. what I mean? it's like the cycle just, this is how it happens. Right. Um, but no, it's, it's really good. Cause there's different, it's different. Um, uh, I'm not necessarily different views, but they just give you different stories about how all this is going to come together. And like I said, I think it's only six episodes it's supposed to be, but the three of them are, have been released now, but we own the city. It's pretty good. Um, uh, what else did I watch? Uh, no, I mean, nothing, nothing else really. Like I, I didn't play any video games. Like uh, I told you, I told you guys uh, offline, even like, uh, you know, Colorado was burning out here. So I thought I was going to have to evacuate it. Mm. So, you know, I actually, I actually packed up, packed up my PlayStation because that's my streaming <laughs> service. Right. You know? like I, walked, I, I was walking upstairs. My wife was like, "Are you for real?" I was like, "We have all the streaming stuff on here. Like, if we have to stay at a hotel, like, I gotta right. open it up so we can get to Hulu, Paramount. You know, you that, this. Right. yeah. The, kid, the kids imagine. are going to want this. You know what I mean? The kids are going to want this. <laughs> I, can't, I can't blame you for that, but I just can't imagine like carrying around the big, the big ass PS Five like so in big. your backpack or something. <laughs> So, so no, like I, I put I put it in my suitcase. So like I only I only pack like a couple days worth of clothes, right? Like I I'm yeah, not gonna be able to take everything, right? Like if my house goes up, we're gonna lose it all, right? Um, but I was I had a few days worth of clothes. I had that, some shoes. But my wife was like, "Are you for real?" I was like, "Yes." I was like, "I'm telling you." I was like, "We probably won't even get to watch anything because the kids are gonna be like, I want to watch, you know, Encanto. I want to watch Frozen One, Frozen Two, but right. um." Yeah, so it was it was a little bit of a hectic week. We actually had another fire today, actually, that was close by the house, but they they tamped it down pretty good. I'm oh I'm gonna owe these firefighters some some Chick Fil A or something, man. Like they putting in work out here. They they working hard, man. So I appreciate them. You know what I'm saying? So bring yeah. some food, some pizza, some barbecue, something. You know, <laughs> they they working. They are working. Um, but yeah, when it when it comes to entertainment, that's kind of that's kind of it. Um, for what I watched, 
yeah, I'll, maybe tomorrow um, the wife and I are probably going to catch Multiverse of Madness. So okay, we'll, yeah, we'll see. But uh, you know, we got to get a babysitter if we do that. So. <laughs> yeah, but, it's always a little bit of a process to get to the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's it for me. What about you, Ryan? Uh, so I'm not going to talk about Multiverse of Madness since since you're going to actually watch it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> no spoilers i want to influence you because i want to know what, what your thoughts of it are when, once you see it so well, tell, us, one, tell, us, see tell us why you tell us why you brought the rating up though like what made you bring the rating just, up? just reflecting like mark i just get to a point now where you like like these popcorn movies actually make me think about them later on in the day you'd be sitting there be like well there was this one part in this movie from you know what i mean like i'm putting all the pieces together like okay where have i seen this character at what have they been doing did they did they have a Disney Plus series? And then how does that affect their mind state in what's happening here at this time? Like their people. So I'm kind of ashamed. <laughs> I'm having like debates at work about it, like going back and forth. And I've, I've decided to, uh, it's, a, it's an eight. I've bumped up. I went from a, a seven to a seven and a half. It's, a, it's an eight. And that's where it'll rest. Oh, wow. It's an eight. Now you say that, right? But like you may watch it again and be like, man, how did I miss that before? Like so I was I was going, I was going to watch it uh yesterday, but I wound up what did I wound up doing? I think I oh yeah, I went, I went, I went to work. Remember we I talked about that. I went to work and I was had to use a different computer and all that stuff. So I, I stayed there longer than I expected. So I did not go and watch it. But I definitely will catch it when it starts streaming in like three to four months or whatever. Um, because it is good. it's a good movie. But I, had to, I, I, had to, I don't I had know reflection <laughs> so like you we, we've had these characters in our lives for like a decade and a half you know what i mean like so you gotta yeah. think back yeah but you you tried to tell me wicker man was something i should watch man it's, it's like, hilarious <laughs> i didn't you say it was me, good you, it was, well, you said i should watch it and you my said man that dressed that up like a bear and he socked <laughs> that lady over a desk i'm not condoning <laughs> such violence but it's it's very it's the most nick cage of nick cage movies <laughs> you can watch he's too overrated for me man like i just don't get it like he's done very he's done very few things i will watch multiple times like that's just that's just who he is to me and like yeah. i've always thought that i never yeah. like i i remember i remember when they were talking about how uh nick cage was going to be passed cast as superman one time and apparently it happened but the movie fell through and they still had to yes make- yeah, yeah, I saw the picture, and I was like, "Oh, that'd been a weird Superman." It, but it would have been awful. He's a terrible actor, so it's like you you are not getting your bang for your buck on that. Like you would have been throwing. You should have just taken twenty million dollars that you were paying him, light it on fire, flush it down the toilet, and I think you oh, would have you got a better return. Mm. He's terrible. It's, he's overrated. He is. He is probably. So I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna say this, and people are probably gonna disagree <laughs> if they watch this. But Nick Cage and Robin Williams have to be some of the most overrated actors I've ever seen. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Yes. Mm. Oh man. So I can. I can. I can get you with Nick Cage, but not Robin Williams. You. This, you know what? You know. You know when he was his best. You know when he was his best when he did his serious roles. Yes. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had, he had versatility. So, but it didn't. How many? How many movies were like that? Maybe because I don't give him a chance. I think he's overrated. I haven't uh, seen a lot of them. But he had Goodwill Hunting. Yeah, um, Goodwill Hunting. Um, was, was Insomnia. Insomnia was a good one. That's that's the one in Alaska, right? With yeah, that's one in Alaska. Yeah, that wasn't bad. But serious um, role, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, good morning, Vietnam. The, the nice. end. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, had, he had he had one he had one um where he was was he a therapist or was he seeing a therapist i think he was seeing a therapist and he went like it's it's very allegoric type movie like he he he's trying to get through some some mental stuff and i remember i can't remember the entire movie because i was really young when it came out but is it in dreams is that what it's called but like he like goes to hell at one point at least uh figuratively if not uh literally i can't remember but it was actually really good. I remember like, man, this is this is good. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not I'm not saying he doesn't do it for most other people, but like I never thought he was that great an actor. But his serious roles, I was like, man, that's that's what I like him. And I love comedies, right? Like make me laugh. That's what I'm all for. But 
yeah, he just he just didn't do it for me. And Nick Cage, another one, man. It's just like if you if you think that Will Smith is always Will Smith, you got to think Nick Cage is always Nick Cage. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm watching right. it for the Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna watch this one that that came out, but I just couldn't find time to uh, to get into my schedule. Um, because like even he said himself, like uh, the the role was him playing the um, what's the what's the term for it? the neurotic Nick Cage. It was like I had he was like that's not who I am anymore. So I had to actually uh, act as a former me. <laughs> he was like it was very meta. It was, it was very it was, it was he said it was a lot of work because he was like that's not. I'm not, I'm not that guy anymore, but I have to, I have to act as though I am that person I used to be. Uh, I would, I would throw my I'm movie about myself. <laughs> yeah. I would throw my BS flag on that because the neurotic Nick Cage is just who I call Nick Cage. That's Nick Cage. <laughs> the neurotic Nick Cage is just Nick Cage. That's all. He's grown as a human being. Um, but no, um, man, Robin Williams. Okay. Like even his comedy stuff, like Miss Doubtfire was good um <laughs> you know what you know what as i as i think about it i i can think of somebody i like even less than him and you're probably gonna flip on this one too chevy chase chevy Ooh, chase uh, yes yeah, good ones chevy chase has good movies you know i think we've had this conversation before. Shack. i think we've had this conversation before. the man with two brains you think you think he made caddyshack like so if you were to watch caddyshack you're doing it for him or are you doing it for Bill Murray and this gopher that's dancing all the time? It's the combo. And, and Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> it's the combo. It's, not, it's, it's the not. combo. Rodney Dangerfield, uh, like definitely Rodney Dangerfield is my yeah. best name. Yeah. I've not seen a Rodney Dangerfield movie in a very long time. Exactly. <laughs> Chevy Chase, another one. Yeah, he's terrible. Chevy Chase, he has some really good ones, though. No, he didn't. Man. Now he's weird. Like, now his, his cameos and stuff. Like, why are you here, Chevy Chase? <laughs> because everybody told him he was good that's why in his youth everybody thought he was so great you know what i mean and he just uh, took, it, took it to her but he grew up rich he grew up rich right so he's eccentric he's not crazy he's eccentric so right right <laughs> <laughs> the two of those don't go together um man you really threw me off with that one um <laughs> <laughs> like my whole life's been a lie um what, what else did I get into this week? Um, I did not study like I'm supposed to. I need to jump on, on some of that um, good study material. I just don't feel like it. I'm, I'm tired. Um, I played some more Trek to Yomi. I really like that game. That's the, the samurai black and white, mm. uh, white game. I enjoy that. Um, what else? I um, uh, played some more Halo. So I'm enjoying that. I did not play it yesterday. I've been trying to play a little bit every day. Um, I did not play yesterday. I really regretted that. I was like, it's probably a daily challenge or something I could have accomplished. Um, so I'll, I'll double, I'll double time it today to, to uh, make up for it. Have you uh, been watching the series? I, I stopped watching the series. Have so been- I, I watched, uh, I think they're on episode eight. Eight. Yeah. They're on eight. So I watched seven and eight back to back yesterday. Um, Cause I, I had missed a week and I heard it wasn't that great of an episode and I, I watch it. It wasn't. It wasn't that it wasn't that great of an episode. It was one of those episodes where it's, it's, it's focused on the side characters, so it's not the master chief, right? Like, so everybody's really, really stressed out apparently about the series. <laughs> and just, I find it entertaining, right? Like, it's, it gives me something different about that um, that universe, and I can see why people are just like, well, why did you even put Master Chief in it? I can see that, um, but. Like, I don't think they do a bad job. They just give you a different Master Chief. Like the Master Chief that we're used to is the uh, very flat character who's just now starting to actually have some personality, like almost oh, over two decades later, right? Like before he was just the, the space Marine, badass space Marine who just did whatever he did. Uh, you never see his face because he is you. Um, and if you read the books, you get some backstory. And then since then it's changed a little bit, like uh, five, they give him a little bit more personality. Now infinity, they give him a little bit more depth. And in the TV series, they just take it complete, like ground, like day one, episode one, face. <laughs> this is what Master Chief looked like. Right. And people hate it. Like I'm, I'm, I think it might get canceled. To be honest with you, because people hate it. The fans, like the the real, like I can't live my life without uh, Halo fans. Like I'm not trying to bash y'all, but like the. They can't detach themselves from the books and the games uh, to see something different. They hate it. Like my whole timeline is just hate. <laughs> so, so Levon, have you been watching it or no? No, I haven't watched it yet. 
No? Okay. All right. I, yeah. I'm just curious, right? Because like I stopped yeah. at episode four or whatever it was. Got to watch five. Watch five and then you can quit. I, I think it's four. <laughs> it, it, gotta see five. it probably was three, to be honest with you, because yeah. I think it might be three because you told me four was four was not great. Five was good. Then six four, was a, was four was a bunch of talking. Then five was like Halo, Halo. And yeah. then six is a bunch of talking. And seven is action with people who are not uh, the Master Chief. But you know, it's hit or miss, right? And then uh, eight, because I don't want to spoil it, uh, but eight, they do something with the character and people were just like, you can you can collectively hear the cries <laughs> of people on the internet. Eight does something uh, pretty wild. And it's like, people are just done with the show. They're like, I'm not watching this no more. And I was like, man, I liked it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it might not be for like not, not not nothing weird but they I, I i don't want to spoil it but it's it's, gotcha. it's they broke halo canon in eight okay <laughs> and people were just like i am out <laughs> for those reasons i'm out but i, I was like okay all right this is totally different um because of that but with all that being said i don't think it's gonna i i think they may get season two because they're already filming it or something but i don't know if it's gonna last like they, they just don't have the the base. Like I don't know if they can bring in enough new people, because like Halo has a lot of baggage because it's been around for so long. I don't know if you're gonna bring somebody who doesn't know what Halo is in, and uh, get them to watch it for five or seven seasons or whatever. Um, they really needed the 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 fan base for this, and and they're not getting those those people hate it. So, is it only gonna be eight episodes for the first season, or is it more? Uh, nine, I think. They, they, they call this one the pen, pen ultimate episode, right? So it's the, the one before the last, I believe is what pen ultimate is. Um, so they got one more episode. Um, and it's definitely, like I told you, they, they went left. <laughs> and people were like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> so I yeah, like it though. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to put the time into it if I got, because it's almost an hour for each episode, right? Yeah. So I'm looking at another five hours to catch up and I'm just like, uh, <laughs> like I've already stopped after three. It's kind of like, mm, I don't know. Right, right. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, again, either you're going to love it or hate it. I don't think it really is any middle ground on the TV series, but I, I'm caught up. So I will watch that, that last episode and um, see how they leave it. You know what I mean? Like nine episodes is a weird number. So they're getting somewhere actually in these, these nine episodes, but I'm sure they're gonna leave a lot on the table. Um, and then I, I watched the movie, I watched Old. Uh, Old is finally on HBO Max and they're waiting for it to hit a streaming service. Um, I liked it. Um, it was definitely a M. Night Shyamalan type movie, um, but it was <laughs> so fast. Like the pacing is crazy um, because of the premise of the movie. Like, so you never get a chance to process what's happening at the beginning. Cause you're just like something, an event happens. And you're just like, what is happening? But then before you can start to collect that information something else happens, then something else happens. And like, at, at one point you just have to be like, yo I, I gotta see how this ends. <laughs> I gotta see where this is going. Um, but it has, it has a handful of characters. So like, um, it's, it's very like um, two or three locations, right? So you have like two or three locations. You have a handful of characters. You kind of, uh, he kind of gets to flesh them out very quickly. And then you get to see um, this event unfold. Um, and then it's over. So I was like, it was, I think it was, it was worth the hour and 20 minutes or something like that. Like it didn't even feel like an hour and 20 minutes, like because of the breakneck hmm. pace of the movie. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I like it. This is one of those quick ones, like, uh, what was that, Devil? Yes, yeah, very, very similar, where you're just trying to, like, like what, what is going on? <laughs> like, what, what is the problem here? Like, what is going on with these people? Um, but I, I liked it. Like, so I, I like a lot of his movies, right? Like, I, I can, I can, I didn't like The Village, because um, I kind of figured it out, and that, that was, uh, I don't know, it just... It, it was not that it was obscure. It was that it was very predictable. I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it. Lady in the Water is kind of like, man, I'm kind of kind of lukewarm on that one. I think it, it's a, a- How are you lukewarm on that one? That was terrible. 
I, I like Paul Giamatti, but I was yeah. just like, that is awful. I, I see where he was trying to go with it, but yeah, it just didn't. I'd, I'd give it a five, maybe. <laughs> That's <not> good. That's <laughs> was it, was good. it five is average? <laughs> no, no. Um, but the ones I, I obviously like Six Sense uh, as, as one of his best. Um, uh, what's the other one? Signs. Uh, Signs. Signs, amazing. Like I really like that movie. It still holds up somehow. Um, and then there's uh, one more with the, um, the grandparents in it. Um, what is that one called? Oh man, I can't remember what it's called. But like they, it's it's a movie where the kids um, are sent to go with their live with their grandparents um, for like summer break or something like that. Like it's some kind of like break where the, the parents are going somewhere else and they send their kids to the grandparents. That movie's off. The, I, I that movie's off the chain. <laughs> I don't recall that at all. I can't remember. I can't remember the title of it. Um, but it's one of his his latest. Like I, I really like that one because um, it's 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 a, a a horror movie with kids is always more horrifying. Because you like, as as a uh, not even as a parent, but just as an adult. Like you see kids in, in bad situations and you like it makes you feel even more uncomfortable. So the entire movie you're on the edge of your seat, like, don't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of there. What are you doing? Like, think about it. Like you're like you yelling at the screen. Um, but they're kids, right. so they don't know any better. Grandma's rules? Yes. The visit or something like the that. The visit. The visit. Is it okay? Yeah, the visit. Like, if you have not seen that one, check that one out. Like it's it's uh it's a horror movie with kids in it that always like ratchets it up you're just like <laughs> not the kids not the kids so he did he did all of the the glass movies too right unbreakable yeah. glass split okay. yeah yeah so um which which we're we're uh we're, we're decent like the the last one so the last one split right uh the last one's glass isn't it glass yeah so the last one is glass so like uh unbreakable i saw that when i was a teenager um i, I thought it was uh uh you know clever it was interesting um and then it was a decade later they made a split and you didn't know that it was in the series until the very end so you're like man this movie was crazy and then at the very end you're like oh <laughs> he actually he actually did it 16 years later it was 16 wow. years later yeah like they kept that one such a good secret like i literally it's one of the rare rare times i came in completely unspoiled it was that very last scene. I was like, oh. <laughs> and then when they put them all, all together, I thought it was just okay. Like the, the last one they did, the um, the glass, I thought it was just okay. But I think they could have did better. But He actually directed After Earth. I did not know that. Oof. That's on him? That's, <laughs> that's Shyamalan. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So that, that one's worse than... Uh, lady in the water <laughs> <laughs> that movie was terrible um but yeah so i watched old i, I started um the baby on hbo max it's a uh, uh one of those uk dark comedies um i watched the first three episodes i don't like it <laughs> very is it's very gruesome it's very uh the comedy is very dry and very British, um, but I just, it's dumb. <laughs> I feel like Shannon on this one. The premise of this movie is dumb. And this baby is just murdering people. And that's not spoiling anything. That's in the trailer. Like the baby kills yeah, people. The trailer shows it, yeah. <laughs> but you just like, yo, like this is like, what's going a dumb on here? premise. Yeah, I might watch like one or two more. Just to make sure I don't like it, but yeah, so far I'm just like, nah, it's not for me. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm cu- I, like, I'm trying to figure you out, Ryan, because like yeah. you are, you like the weird stuff, man. So like, I figured that'd be right up your alley. I, I did too. I did too. It's just, it's not funny to me. Like, it's just, it's, 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 it's like a, a chuckle sometimes. It's not like I've never, I never like laughed out loud, you know, like at it. It's just like, oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, that's it. That's as far as you get. Like, ah, that was, or that, that was kind of clever. But yeah, it's just not, it's not laugh out loud funny to me. So, um, 
And then I re-downloaded uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 because I want to play on the Series X. Um, mm. So I'm, I'm probably going to go in there because I did all of them. I mained it and I didn't do any of the side stuff because it, it was like I was I was going to school full time. I um, it's just a humongous game. So I was like, I just I have to get to the end of this game to enjoy it. And then I'll, I'll come back. I just never came back to it. So I downloaded it last night. It took all night because the game's so big. So I'll probably start playing around with, with it today. And I want to start doing the side stuff. Like there's like bounties you can collect and there's a there's a serial killer in the game. You have to find clues and find them. So that's the thing. Like there's so much side stuff. It's a game to itself. I just never did any of it. So I want to go back and uh, experience some of that stuff. So that, that is my my plan. And then uh, the next movie comes out is uh, Top Gun, right? Top Gun Maverick. Uh, I think it's Memorial Day weekend, right? Yep, that's Memorial Day weekend. So I'll check that out. And um, like it's getting great reviews. Like people love it. So no, I'm down. I'm down the uh, Air Danger Zone one more time. Right? It's got to be it. Like if they if they say they're gonna make a third one, I'm like we're gonna wait another. Uh, how many years has it been between the first and this one? Like thirty. The first one had to be like, was it like eighty eight or something like eighty six? Something like that. For top gun. So like um. That's it's like they, they and then on top of it, um, at some point he's gonna start aging. Like he hasn't started <laughs> yet, but one day right. he's gonna get old, so they gotta knock it out. <laughs> yeah, 19, 1986. 86? So I was three when that movie came out. It was crazy. Yeah, nineteen eighty six, and then uh, the Maverick releases on the twenty fourth. So yep. Oh, but Obi Obi Wan Kenobi comes out on Disney Plus this month too, right? I gotta watch one of these shows. I think so. I can watch The Mandalorian or Bubba Fett or any oh. of them. You'll like Mandalorian. I think you'll like Mandalorian possibly more than Boba Fett. At least I did, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, Boba Fett was a little. Uh, there was one episode he wasn't even in it at all. I don't think. It was just yeah. Like, they should have called that one the Mandalorian, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> it was the episode. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, so like even in Boba Fett, they the Mandalorian showed up in like half the episodes, I want to say. Oh wow. Okay. Like, yeah, I would I would say watch Mandalorian if you're gonna give one some time. And and like, and here's the thing, all of them are out now, so you could just go right through it, Ryan. That's, 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 it, that's your thing. Marathon right there. Right. Might, I might do that one. I might do a Mandalorian then. But yeah, I have no real Star Wars background, right? So I was just like, man, it's not for me. But I don't know. Maybe that'll that'll be the thing that hooks me. Because uh, I'm not. I, I wasn't down for uh, the fantasy stuff either, like the Lord of Rings and stuff like that. And watch any of that. But like Game of Thrones had me. So yeah. yeah. Oh, I, that was the other thing. I watched Strange New World. So did you guys watch the latest episode of Strange New World? No, I didn't watch it. I, I haven't started it yet. Ooh, man, I heard it's really started. good. That thing is good. Okay. I think it's good. So only two episodes so far, right? And it releases on Thursday, so I want to say, but oh you know. yeah. Yeah, I heard it's very, very um uh original Star Trek, like like um grassroots Star Trek, so to speak, or whatever. Um, because I, I I know a guy on I don't know him personally, but I follow a guy on Twitter. He hates Picard, he hates Discovery, loves uh uh this current one. He hates all of Discovery or just this last season? He, he hates anything that's not like like original Star Trek. Uh, I mean, like Star Trek Next Generation, Deep Space Nine. Like, like he was like, Picard is trash and Discovery <laughs> is doing too many new things, but he loves this one. So I'm just like, okay, this must be like, like that original formula of Star Trek. So I'm down, because uh, I like, I, I like uh, Discovery a lot. Uh, Picard... I need to get through a little bit more of oh, Thunder. I need to get a little bit uh, more through, I think season two is what I'm on. Cause they're only going to do three seasons, I think. Um, but it was, it, it's okay. Like I, I was enjoying it. Like the cameos are, uh, are pretty cool. But um, I think this one's going to be the one that does it for me. So I'm jumping, jump, definitely jump on that one. Um, so so how, how far did you get in? You haven't watched Discovery at all or you have watched Discovery? I'm on the third season. So you're. I'm on whatever the latest season is. It's the third one, right? 
Yeah, and so you've already gone to where you've seen Pike in Discovery, then, right? Yes. Yep. Pike. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that kind of that kind of ties in a little bit in the Strange New World, like it's kind of referenced a little bit, right? Because so, there's an event that happens to him. I was just like, so they're gonna have a show based on this guy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. That's different. So are the are are his Klingons the same looking Klingons as the the you remember because Discovery made them look different? So Discovery, yeah, they had they were less rigid right yeah it was weird right they're like more round like when you used to clean eyes being hmm. like built for battle right they're sharp sure. you you have not you have not seen any yet i'll say that okay right? in this one okay because i was like that's that was a weird change to the, the way they look i didn't i don't care like i still like the show but i was like that is different like why would they just all of a sudden change the way a whole uh species looks so interesting like uh, but yeah, I'm down. I, I think I'll start it because just what what are they on like episode three, two, two? Yeah, so I, I'll start it so I can catch up. Um, and that's pretty much it for TV shows. Like, there's nothing really coming out that I want to watch. To be honest with you, um, I'm waiting for Netflix to drop something. Like, uh, I think Netflix has there's a, there's a comedy special coming out uh, from the comedian that passed away. Like, um, I think that's this month, right? Or is it next month? What comedian that passed away? Who are you talking uh, about? The one comedian, he, he died from cancer recently. He was uh, an SNL comedian at one point. Um, <laughs> what is his name? Well, I got to look him up. But uh, I've seen, I seen him a couple movies. He was kind of funny. Uh, here he is. Oh, dang. This is a list of all the comedians that passed away. Was it Norm McDonald? Yes. Yeah. So he filmed a, a special because he was going in for a procedure. Uh, he's battling cancer. He didn't he didn't really share it with the public. Uh, somebody knew he was like like um, like sick, sick. Um, but he was going in for a procedure where he said, like, you might not make it out of this. So uh, Netflix uh, had him do a special in his living room. So he has a whole uh, special in case he passed. Um, <laughs> and I think it drops this month. So did you think he was funny, Norm Macdonald? I saw him in a couple of things. And again, it's not laugh out loud funny. It's like a chuckle. All right. <laughs> I was just making sure. But yeah, but I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious because uh, it'd be the first time something like this has been done on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like a social experiment. Like uh, Adam Sandler had a movie and he was a comedian that was dying. I can't remember what it was called. Um, it, was it This Is 40? Not this is for uh, funny people. Funny people. It was like very dark. It wasn't, and, uh, it wasn't that funny either. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> and uh, like, I'm, I'm interested to see which way he goes in his own, like, because he, the man basically knows that this could be it. So, like, is it going to be funny? Is it going to be like sad? Like, I, I want to see what he was, you know, uh, putting out there before he went. I'm morbidly curious on how this this uh this special goes. I'm sure he, I'm sure it win some awards or something like as well, right? Just because of the, the whole premise. Maybe I don't I don't know. I, I've hmm. never I've never found him to be that funny. So not on SNL, not in his comedy special. Like if you ever so like I listen to comedy radio too when I'm in the car too. So they have a uh, Kevin Hart's radio station, Laugh Out has a station, Laugh Out Loud that has people okay. on it too. But um, I also listen to uh, what is the other one? I think it's Comedy Central or something like that. Uh, and I hear him on there kind of often, and I'm just like, eh, not for me, you know? What I mean? Right, right. Yeah, just I, I, you know, just interested to see how it goes. But there, there was something else that's coming to Netflix. That I actually am interested in seeing because we keep I keep passing around the the Netflix memes. Like it's not it's not looking so good for them right now. But um, there is an action flick that's going to drop. I think it's this month. I can't can't remember what it is. But when I when I do see it again, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. And then Resident Evil. I can't remember when that one comes out. Hmm. But I'm a huge Resident Evil yeah. fan. Uh, only one of the Resident Evil movies was good and the rest were trash, but I still watched them. <laughs> some of them. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested in this. Like I've, I've, been, a, I've been a fan since uh, the first Resident Evil. Uh, I've probably played through that game like 10 times. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see what they do with it. And um, 
they got that Netflix budget. Well, at least they, they had that Netflix. I don't know. Like Netflix will cancel something in a second. So is it Ghost in the Shell you're looking forward to coming out on there? Ghost in the Shell? No, that's that's the um the live action um remake of the, the anime. I've seen that. Or it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's anime. Sack 2045 Sustainable War is the name oh, of it. Oh, it's one? another one. Yeah, it's a lot of a lot a lot of Ghost in the Shell animes. I don't even remember the last one I saw. I I I love the original movie. Like that's one of those. I, I was a teenager going to Blockbuster, and it's like you have five animes on a bookshelf. And that was one of my first anime movies. Was Ghost in the Shell. Um, so it's Ghost in the Shell, Ninja Scroll, um, those type of movies. Gotcha. The the originals over here in the West that uh, that put us onto it. But um, I don't really watch the the anime. It's just too many of them. Like Ghost in the Shell is like Gundam. Have you seen how many Gundams there are? I have I at have least ten thousand Gundams. Like, <laughs> right. Every year they make a new series about Gundam. Uh, is getting out of hand. But um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot coming up. I guess because it's the summertime, so like a lot of stuff's not dropping. Um, and then uh, of course Jurassic Park will hit, and then Thora hit. So like one movie a month, for the, uh, to get me through the summer. Yeah, Thor, Thor, Thor is in November though, right? When is Thor coming out? It's like no, uh, Thor is the uh, summer one. It's July, and then uh, Wakanda Forever is supposed to be um, fall. Okay, at least for now. Yeah, I thought Thor was continuously doing like the November releases or something like that. I thought. That's oh no, he's he's the the summer one. So that, that's uh, what's called it. It's a month and, and some change. Is it a month and some change? It's not that long from now, so like, and then that one I'm actually pretty pumped about. But um, again, uh, it looks it, it looks as though um, it's gonna tie in some Guardians of the Galaxy stuff in it too. Like, I don't want them to be in it too much. You know what I mean? Like, they're about to get a movie with him in it. Like, I, I want them to, to show them for a split second, and I just went all Thor, <laughs> like. Like I don't, I don't, the, um, <clears throat> it's been a lot of crossovers recently, like with the Spider-Man and Dr. Strange and now Dr. Strange and, you know, everybody who's in this movie, like I, I need, uh, I just want some Asgardians. <laughs> <laughs> you know Asgardians. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't want, like, don't, don't give me too much of a different movie. Like, just give me what I want in this movie and I'll be good. Like, give me a bunch of Thor, throw in, uh, 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 Natalie Portman's Thor. Like, give me, give me some, some uh, Olympia, Olympus type gods in this one. Like they showed, uh, I guess that's Olympus. So I'm, I'm like, I'm pumped. Like, give me all that. Stranger Things is releasing this month, season. Four. Oh, there, there it is. That's, that's what I was thinking. Stranger Things. I was like, there's something huge coming out. Well, what is it? Um, and that that's going to be a two parter, right? So they're going to, they're going to have half of it now, and then um, the other half probably fall, maybe. I don't know. I've, ne- I've never watched any of it. I don't know how their release schedule is. So the first half of season one, if you ever do, do decide to watch it, you you got to be real patient with it. The first half of season one was kind of boring to me. Then no, I'm not doing it. It, it was all. <laughs> It was, it was all, it, it felt like, it felt like watching E.T. and uh, X-Files if they, if they had a baby. It was like, what is happening here? Like, <laughs> you got to give me some context. And then once they ripped the bandaid off, then it's just full speed ahead. So I don't, I don't know, probably, probably not for you. But uh, again, it's, it's putting kids in horror. So like for me, that's like, it's, it's very uh, stressful. Yeah, like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make sure the kids are okay. <laughs> I gotta watch it through. I gotta make sure these kids are okay. Um, and then obviously uh, they have different decades, right? So the first season is the '80s, second season is like, is it the '90s? Uh, Levon, what's that? The second season of uh, Stranger Things. Would you, would you say it's the '90s, or would you still say it's the '80s? Uh, I don't even. Actually, I don't remember. It's been so I long since I actually still, seen it. I think it's like late '80s. I, I think this is going to be the 90s. Yeah. 
so now all these kids are in adulthood, right? Like they're gonna be in college now. They waited. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Like so, because when you watch the first season, like they were like like little kids or whatever. But by the time you get to the second season, there's a there was a, a scene where the or two of them were making out, and I was like, ugh, because <laughs> they're like so yeah. kids. Me. <laughs> like yuck. <laughs> what are you doing, yuck. man? But they're they're older, right? Because like the they girl, are. They are. Girl from yeah. Godzilla. The girl from Godzilla was in that series, right? Yeah, it's age appropriate, but it's, I'm an adult, right? Like I didn't come here for that. I came here for the for the horror. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Um, but I, I don't know. I I, I like the series. Um, I'm interested to see how they conclude it, though, because um, I, I thought they could have like season two could have been the end, in my opinion. So I don't even know what they're gonna do with season three. Let's look. This like the last season came out in July 2019. I'm like. It's been three years. <laughs> it's like I feel like I haven't I haven't seen it for so long. I can't even really remember. I can't. I barely remember like what happened line. in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember like what era it was in. Yeah. And I always say I'm gonna go back and, and watch it bef- like before the next season starts. But I'm not. Like you just got to give me a recap at the beginning. Like give me yeah a minute and thirty recap. seconds. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right. Give me that. I don't yeah, I don't have enough time to invest to like rewatch right. three seasons to get caught up again. I, I just need the the bullet points, the highlights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's all I need to to get me going. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. I think I think you you said Levon is like thirty million dollars an episode or whatever is what it costs. No, I I, 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 I said 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 what they were putting in there. I was just like, that's yeah. too much. So that's why Netflix yeah. cancels things, right? Once people start to have like value. Like the first, the first season, they weren't spending. These might have been spent thirty million for the entire season, maybe. But now you spending thirty million an episode. They're like, "Hey, man, kill these kids off." Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. We need to get some of these high paid actors out of here. Yeah, man. Like that's that's ridiculous. That, that's why they uh, a lot of these people are um, uh, uh, from overseas. Like a lot of them are like British actors and stuff like that. Like mm. making their their uh, American. Um, slash global debut, and then they, then they they start making that paper, and it's like mm. right. Netflix right. said you only get one season. <laughs> Netflix ain't playing that, um, but we'll, we'll see. And then uh, when does the movie Nope come out? I saw a trailer for it. That comes out too. The um, Jordan Pill movie that comes out this summer. I watched the trailer, and I'm more confused after seeing the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening in this movie so i'm pretty excited about that i'm 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 i don't think us was as good as get out but i i like his style of uh of horror and he he messes up classic classic songs like i'll never hear i got five on it the same way ever again <laughs> right july 22nd okay so there you go so i got two movies in july i got thor and then i got nope so it might not be great. I don't know, but I have no clue what he's doing in this movie. They're they're saying they're not um, sequels. They're not direct sequels to either of his Get Out or Us. Gotcha. Which I'm fine with too. Like they said, they're gonna like um, Us is gonna get a sequel. Uh, I don't see how they go that route, but I'm down. I, I can see having a prequel. I mean, that's what it'll be. But oh, and then the last thing. I'm sorry. Like uh, I'm. Well, brain is spaced out because it there's thunder. I don't think I'm able to golf. I'm, I'm super sad about that. Um, that was my plan for the day was at the golf course. Um, but uh, the Batman Spotify joint, um, I listened to the first two episodes of Batman Unhinged on Spotify. And it's um, Batman's uh, narrated by, um, is it Winston Duke? Is that is that his name? Yeah, the dude who played Umbaku? Or is it Luke Winston? I think it's Winston Du, but he played Umbaku in um, Black Panther. He's also the uh, the dad from uh, Us. Yeah, Luke. Oh, hold on, let me see. Is it Luke Winston? Come on. Oh no, no Winston Du. That was right. Yeah, I was like, that's a white guy. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so uh Winston Duke is uh he plays Batman and um it's it's uh different like uh so I, I like I like um 
podcast dramas anyway. Like I've only listened to a couple, but the ones I did listen to, I actually really enjoyed. They're pretty engrossing. Um, but he plays a forensic pathologist. So it's it's uh, Batman being a different type of detective. And um, there's a killer on the loose that's harvesting bodies. Um, like he's killing people and he's harvesting organs. And uh, um, uh, Bruce Wayne is investigating. So you're hearing his recordings on it. And it's actually... Uh, you can tell there's something else happening, but you can't quite put your finger on it yet. So like uh, uh, Bruce Wayne's a forensic pathologist and his dad is a surgeon and his dad is alive and his mom is a psychologist and she is alive. And you're just like, what is happening right now? Like, this is not the normal Batman story. But then as you listen to it, uh, you start to see like something's not right here. Um, hmm. And uh, I just, I, I like the vibe of it because it's still a detective story, but it's just a different, the different type of Batman. And like, he puts himself in the, the, the shoes of the, of the, um, the, uh, the victim. So like, he's trying, like, he's, like, he puts himself in their mindset and trying to figure out like, what happened to you? Like, here's the wound. How did you get this wound? Yada, yada, yada. And there's a lady in the room with him. That's like his assistant or whatever. <laughs> and she's, she's like, he's had multiple assistants. They quit. Cause they're like, he weirds them out. <laughs> And it's, it's pretty good. Like I, I'm really enjoying it. And then just seeing that having um, uh, uh, a Batman uh, cast as primarily uh, black is also like okay. This, this is this is definitely different. Like um, I think I think you would enjoy it. I would say give the first episode a try. I think you'll enjoy. It. I think the third episode is out. I just haven't listened to it yet. I haven't found time. I couldn't get to it. You did send it to us. I think. I think okay. you sent it to us, but yeah, I don't. It's, it's only on Spotify. I don't have Spotify. Yeah. So like I tried to, I tried to click on it and it was, Oh, okay. I got you. Just, yeah. yeah. So, I, and I don't, I don't pay for Spotify. It's free. So I have a free account. I can listen to it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't let me listen to it. I'll go back and find it again in the message, but I was like, Oh, I can't, I can't play this. Huh? So. Yeah. That's, that's weird. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it beat the, the first episode. I want to say, uh, finally knocked Joe Rogan out of the top spot. So uh, Joe Rogan was number two when this thing dropped. That that's what you were saying. Okay, that makes sense now. So people people like it. You said you said yeah. that, but I wasn't picking up on what you were saying in the in the chat. I was like, what? I was like, beat Joe Rogan. What? Yeah. <laughs> Batman was number was number yeah, one. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So I, I think I think you enjoy it. Like uh I don't have a commute, so that's why I'm having uh trouble finding time to listen to it. Um, because I actually have to like stop doing what I'm doing to listen to it. Um and it's like for me, um, because it's, it's narrative telling a story, I can't do, I can't multitask with it. I actually, I actually have to listen to it. So I actually, you got to find 20 minutes where you can just listen to my talk. So but it's, it's pretty good. Like I, I'm enjoying it. The production value is really high. And obviously, like I said, the, um, the cast uh, is primarily people of color. So I'm like, yeah, I like this. Um, and I listened to that Kendrick Lamar new uh album and i like it but i'm like shannon it wasn't what i was looking for right now like i was looking for uh good kid mad city or damn and he gave me uh it's very very um conscience conscious conscious but it's therapy like I, what, I didn't come here for that. So it, it, it was a weird juxtaposition. <laughs> um, so I, I listened to it. I've, I've listened to it like three or four times. Um, and it's like three or four tracks that I really like. Um, but I don't feel like healing. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. It's not. It, 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 it's, uh, it, it's an album that came out where I wasn't. I'm not in that mindset. Like I didn't have. um I haven't been as affected as some due to COVID and culture and all the other stuff that's that's currently happening, right? So there's like three or four tracks that that really do um, uh, grip me, like N95, um, Silent Hill, Savior, and uh, Auntie Diaries. I'm just like, okay, these are, like I I, I, get, I get what you're saying. I like it. it these are things that as a culture we got to figure out and deal with and heal and all that good stuff. 
Um, but I, again, I, I wasn't in the right mindset. I thought it was going to be um, more like, more like damn, less like to pimp a butterfly. So if that makes sense, like that's that's kind of the headspace he's in. It's more like pimp, to pimp a butterfly. Hmm. People, people are liking it. My brother, I was talking, I was texting with my brother today, and he was, uh, he asked me if I had heard it, and I was like, I had a friend send me one of the songs, you know. Yeah. He, like he like that, that song's not on the album. Oh really? Yeah. Because I, I, I was, he was like, hey, do you like, do you like him? And I was like, I was like, ah, not really for me, but I had a friend send me the song. Was it Heart? Was the name of the song? Was the name of it? What was the name? Uh, was it the uh, Heart? The Heart Part Five. Something like that, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I think I think production value uh, and um, content is really high. It's just like, again, I just wasn't the right, I'm not in the right mindset for that album right now. Like I'm, I'll probably listen to it again um, when I'm, I'm t- flying home. I'll probably have a, uh, I'll be more receptive. <laughs> right, right, right now, right now I'm looking for uh, uh, the next uh, Griselda. Give me that. <laughs> so that's, that's where i'm at in my life but yeah i'm a but, I'm a I'm a push a t fan but i didn't like the last one i was just like oh this most recent one i was just like man okay oh it's almost dry is that what it was i think that's the name of the album it's almost dry is it called it's almost dry i can't remember i i listened to it and i was just like oh <laughs> i fast forwarded it through a lot but no yeah. Yeah, it's almost dry as thing with the album, which wasn't bad either. Like, I, I thought it was pretty good. And then uh, uh, Bane the Butcher dropped a new one, uh, uh, Time to Talk For. Um, I wasn't really feeling that one either. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I just, like, none of these are bad. Like, they're not bad albums. Like, I haven't found one of those um, from start to finish albums in some time. It's been a while. Uh, I think the last one was probably. Um, uh Jim Crow to Musical by Add Two. I don't know if you ever heard that one. That was the last, that's the last one where I'd listen to it back to back to back to back. Um mm. I've heard those in a while. We might be getting old. <laughs> maybe, maybe to the point where it's like, you know, back in my day. Nothing, nothing, nothing satisfies us. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we're gonna back find ourselves. Day. Yeah, we're gonna find ourselves saying that to our children, right? Yeah. The Babylon. Back in my day, music was about something, right? And and then these <laughs> these these are though. It's just I don't. It got to be in the right mind, like the headspace. You know what I mean? Like to really receive the message to try to get across. I was looking for violence, and he gave me healing. Mm. <laughs> so there's that. This this nice. I can't go to the gym with this one. Is what I'm trying to say. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> But, but that's all I got. That's that's been my week. It actually is more eventful than I thought. So that's some good, some good stuff. Yeah. So with that being said, I go ahead and land this plane. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Levine. It's been a great week. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Please go back and listen to uh, our episodes Monday, and Tuesday, our topics. Wednesday was our discussion. Um, and then no ask assist P. But I am trying to think of a creative way to uh to do that next episode i'm trying to i'm, I'm see if i can get a bunch of people together like get a bunch of people i've talked to all in one uh chat and then just kind of see where they're at now like from when we talk to where they're, where they're currently at uh i just have not found the time to set something like that up but that that is my plan um going forward then obviously today was run down we talk about everything else so if you enjoy that definitely continue to uh to tune in um Hit up all of our social medias. They all go by our name. We now post on TikTok, at least the Monday through Wednesday episode, like, because you only can do 10 minutes. So I'd have to do like four or five cuts to get this one on there. I'm not going to do that. So, <laughs> so you can only let's do it here. Enjoy. Um, uh, hit me up personally. I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. I am on uh, LinkedIn, Clubhouse, TikTok, and Twitter. And you, LeVon? You can hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Made It. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care.